with another video and today man i'm gonna go out and show y'all how i like to fish muddy waters man hopefully we can get up on some fish i got my three lures that i said that i like in the last video if y'all haven't seen that video stop and go watch that video man it's a quick little video really think y'all like it but look man we got a couple different lures too uh i know some people commented on the last video and I'll show y'all what bait that was a little bit later, but I, I went to the store and got that lure, man, and I just wanted to see if it's gonna pull some big girls out of this water, so. Y'all stick around, stay tuned, man. Let's get it. Get this water, man. Straight chocolate milk. We're gonna start off with the bait that somebody suggested. Here it is, bro. Good old chatter bait. I cut off half of the the tail on the swim bait, too. It kinda looks a little janky, but I saw b lat do this, man, and. He always do his uh, trailers like that. So hopefully that little tail will get out there and kick. Oh, it kicks. <laughs> it kicks. And one more thing, just to juice it up a little bit, man. You got to put some of that bang garlic up on there, man. And now we Gucci, bro. Let's go. Start off with a little bit of moving bait action. New line on here, bro. So I got to break all that in, too. I don't know how this muddy water is going to go, bro, but I'm going to try to show y'all how I break it, break it all down. What I like to look for when I'm fishing muddy water. A lot of the time, it's just going to be a lot of tree sticks up out in the water and stuff. I really enjoy doing, finding, finding fish that way. Get my drag set up. Should it be Gucci now. Yeah, no backlashes. I can actually loosen it up one, two clicks. Man, I took off my jacket because I was, I put on my jacket because I was cold. Now I'm just thinking like, kind of want to put on my jacket, but I don't know if I should do that, bro. We got some wind up here and we got a little dry spot up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this jig. It's a two dollar jig from Walmart, man. Caught so many big fish on here. I don't know how many of these jigs I bought either. I gotta get the name for y'all, bro, cause y'all gotta check them out, bro. It's some little no name company, I think. Really, man. Two dollars, ba. Take my time. There's a big tree down inside that water, so I want my jig to cruise all along there. I'm on it right now, actually, too. Feel it just brought it over the tree. I'm going to let it sink right back down to the bottom before I even do anything to it. I'm on the tree limb right now. Still moving it over that big tree. So so deep right here, man. Get a good skip under there. Hey, let's get it. Of course, you get hung up on the bottom. No way, that just broke. The best jig, gone. Gone, just like that. Just like that. Thought that was a fish that just picked me up. A lot of like sparse brush around here. I try to pick that out and just like throw Kind of close to that brush, a little bit away from it, see if one will come out from it. But. Is that a bite? That's a bite, y'all. Pick it up. He got it. He got it, y'all. No, I knew it, man. I should have let him run with it for a minute, bro. But they bit the worm first. The yum dinger. He didn't even really have it, bro. It's kind of just swimming with it, you know? 
That must have been a small fish. You know, we don't want no small ones. We want the ones that's not going to play with us. Once the pond clear up on water clarity, man, it's going to be on fire, though. There's a fish. He's running with it, y'all. Got him. Got him. Off a sparse piece of vegetation, man. Up there. Small one. But listen, though, man. That's what we were going for. Right there. There we go, man. A little small one. Came right up. Boom. Came right up close to that uh, small, small piece of brush, man. No oh, back has D. This new line is kind of light in my hand, man. Been using braid for like the last year, and I finally was just like, you know what? I want to feel some stretch in my line. You can be more aggressive with braid, but I feel like you can get away a lot, like away with a lot more with a uh, fluorocarbon. So I got on 17 pound fluorocarbon. Which I just bought today, as long with that two dollar jig that I lost, and I knew I should have bought two of them. But I had two of them in my hand, but I was like, "We gonna keep this one." Is that a fish? It's a fish, y'all. No, bro, D, you're, you're, bro. Can y'all tell me to stop talking to y'all sometime? My fault, though, bro. My fault. And the worm's almost gone. It's just gonna give it a little bit more action. Look at that thing, man. It's like actually gone. We still going to use it, though. These fish has been eating this young. I didn't see them at the store, bro. So I had, I was I was almost like forced to buy some other kind. And it was like a weird. It, it looked weird, but I was just like, you know what? I'm going to try it. Come on, D. Where the boat going to, man? Gotta get back in our little spot. Still up on the back side of this tree. Close to the trees as much as you can, man. Oh, I got one. Oh, yeah, he grabbed it. What did I tell y'all, bro? Get it close. I think this is a big one, y'all. Yes, it's a good one, y'all. It's a decent one. It's a good one. Yes. Please stay pinned. Please stay pinned. Please. Please stay pinned. It's a big one. It might. Oh, my God, y'all. It might be my PB. It might be my PB. Oh, my God. Oh. Look at that. Oh, my God. What are you talking about? With the one more hook. Oh, my God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Mama, bro. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. Let's get you up on a bit camera. Check her out, bro. Check out the chunk. Good pre-spawn, man. Like the last one that we just caught, man. Another big fish, bro. Another big fish, man. It's insane. Let me put her in the water. Talk to y'all, bro. It's insane. Actually insane, bro. I just want to, like, honestly, bro, y'all don't understand, bro. The stuff that's been going on, bro, like, it lines up to be amazing, bro. Like, I can't see myself stopping this YouTube channel. I'm loving the way that we're growing. Just got to do job. You know what I'm saying, man? And here in the last couple of days, bro, last couple of weeks, we have been catching straight chunks. Straight chunks. Who's calling me? Hello? Man. Six pounds, bro. Six pounds, seven, six pounds. Easy. Another chunk, bro. Let's go, bro. Let me show y'all how she swims off. It's just amazing, bro. Man, it's just amazing, bro. Like, I could cry, bro. It's that crazy to me. Like, I could, I could try to explain everything that's going on man but i can't even get it in context in this video bro i just hope some of y'all feel me bro like coming out bro and doing that man it gets me bro and i just tried to tell y'all like this is tips about how to fish muddy waters bro if you're not paying attention please do you know what i'm saying like we've been fishing wood all day 
a little deep. They've been coming in three, four foot waters, bro. Like kind of close to the bank, but they're pushing up, you know? Like it seems like these fish are starting to push up to start to spawn. Like you gotta go out and get those young dingers. They're two dollars. Two dollars, bro. And you catching fish. You know what I'm saying? If you don't think this, man, like just go back and watch some of my videos. I am preaching to y'all, bro. I'm so freaking piped. Oh my god, bro. Like. I don't know, bro. You know, like, after I catch a fish like that, I got so much more to fish, and then I want to go back again. Like, it just feels like I don't even have to, but we are. So, stay tuned, man. Let's hope we can get another one, bro. Let's get it. All right, man. So, there we go. I hope y'all really enjoyed that video, man. That was me giving y'all some tips about how to fish in muddy water, bro. We didn't catch many fish, but it worked out. You know what I'm saying? We came out a little bit late. We still could have some more time to fish, but... The back side of that pond is real, real, real windy. So I know my trolling motor will act up. I think I'm ahead and it was a good day, man. I'm 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 grateful for what we got. Wish we could have got one up on that chatterbait, but I will be throwing it some more. I think in in a couple of weeks, man. It's gonna be starting to go off. So y'all stick around, man. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel, bro. It's sixty percent of y'all watching these videos. It's not subscribed, man. Let's get that down to 50 if we can. I love y'all. Y'all stay up.